Hi, Attorney Steve Bondren, we're back. In this video, we are talking about affirmative defenses. Okay, so we've talked in other videos about filing a complaint, what it means to file a complaint. We've talked about what it means to answer a complaint when you're involved in a lawsuit. This video is going to deal with the affirmative defenses that you raise when you're answering, when a defender is answering a lawsuit, okay? So these are some of the things that can be raised. You have to remember when you're dealing with affirmative defenses that you want to raise them. If you don't raise them, you may waive them. Say that with me. If you don't raise, you may waive, okay? So you don't want to waive any potential defenses because at the beginning of a lawsuit, you really don't know all your defenses, but you want to try to lay them out the best that you can. Okay, so when you're answering, you're answering the complaint, you're either denying it, you're agreeing to certain parts of it, you're, you're not agreeing to other parts of it. At the end of that, you're going to add your affirmative defenses. And we're going to talk about what some of the common affirmative defenses are in this video today. Okay, so let's start off with the basics, the, 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 the basics that you're going you're gonna to be looking at. Now, keep in mind, if a defense doesn't apply, don't assert it just because you saw a big long list somewhere on the internet and decided that I'm going to put, raise 100 affirmative defenses. You know, there's probably 100, 200 different affirmative defenses that you could potentially raise. So don't go crazy raising everything, but you do want to make sure that the ones that do apply, you are hitting those, you are raising them so that you don't, correct, wave them, wave them. Okay, uh, and by the way, if you want uh, the full list, this is a work in progress that we're working on here. We have a list of about 85 affirmative defenses, I think right now we're working on more. But go to lawsuitdefenses.com, lawsuitdefenses.com, got a nice list there for you, something to, to get you thinking. Okay, some of the main ones that pop up in a lawsuit, number one, statute of limitations. For example, if a plaintiff is bringing a lawsuit on something that happened in 1995, ding, 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 you want a bell to go off in your head and say statute of limitations bars this claim, statute of limitations. Now, the statute of limitations is always going to depend on what's what you're filing suit for in your case, what the plaintiff's suing for. So if it's trademark, it may be one statute of limitations. If it's a copyright infringement, it may be a different set of rules. If it's a breach of contract, it's a different statute of limitations, personal injury, different statute of limitations. So you need to look up the laws in your jurisdiction, see what the plaintiff is suing for, and see what the statute of limitations are. If applicable, erase it as an affirmative defense, okay? So that's a big one that you see. Um, latches is another one. Uh, that's unreasonably delaying in filing a suit. You have the very popular affirmative defense of failure to state a claim failure to state a claim upon which relief can be granted. What's that mean? Well, basically that's saying, even if everything the plaintiff says is true, even if all the allegations are correct, it still doesn't amount to a hill of beans. It still doesn't give you something that relief can be granted upon. So that's failure to state a claim upon which relief can be granted. Privilege, you may have been privileged to do what it was that you're being sued for. Um, another one is unclean hands, that the plaintiff cannot come into court with what we call unclean hands, and that, meaning plaintiffs have done something dastardly on their own and now they're filing suit, shame on them, their hands are unclean. That's another affirmative defense that you would raise if you're facing a lawsuit. Accord and satisfaction, accord and satisfaction, that's where the parties reached an agreement, satisfied the agreement, why are we here? We had an accord and satisfaction, Your Honor. This has already been resolved. That's an affirmative defense. Um, other defenses, sometimes you'll see a lot of contract claims, a breach of contract. Duress is one of those. Statute of frauds is another one. For example, when you have real estate, anytime you're being sued for something that has to do with real estate, take a good look and ask yourself, was it in writing? Did they put it in writing? Is there a writing that they're relying on? Okay, so you want to take a look. Some things have to be in writing to be enforceable. There's a list of things that, uh, different types of causes of action that have to be in writing. Personal guarantees, real estate contracts, um, you know, prenups, things like certain things need to be in writing. Um, to look for that, you want to look those up, see what things those are. California Civil Code Section 
1624. We'll give you a little list of those. California Civil Code Section 1624, Google that. Um, necessity, novation, what's novation? Um, three parties agree to release one of the other parties. There's a novation, why am I being sued? I was released, what's going on here? And you can see where that's going. Raised judicata is another one. Raised judicata, what's that? Well, if a plaintiff is bringing claims that were previously brought in another lawsuit, you can't bring them again a second time. That's called raised judicata. So that's another common affirmative defense. You have, and again, if you're looking for the, our list that we're going off here, go to lawsuitdefenses.com. You have unconscionability. Sometimes you'll have a contract somebody's trying to enforce. They'll say, wait a second, that is unconscionable. That's unconscionable. It's substantively or procedurally just unconscionable, unthinkable, shocking. Raise it as an affirmative defense in your answer. Preemption is another one. Maybe there's a federal law that preempts uh, what plaintiff is trying to bring. Preemption is another one. Estoppel is another uh, famous, uh, uh, pretty famous, popular affirmative defense. The plaintiff should be estopped from bringing certain claims because of acts or words that they did. There shouldn't be estoppel should apply. It's one, another one. Um, failure to mitigate damages, another popular one. If a plaintiff is suing for something like a breach of contract, let's say it's a landlord suing for a commercial breach of a lease, and they didn't do anything for two years in trying to lease the property out, the defendant can say, well, didn't you try to lease the place out? You didn't mitigate your damages. Why aren't you mitigating your damages? Another popular affirmative defense. Um, other ones that you see from time to time, real party and interest in standing. These are two different types of defenses. One is you're saying this party doesn't have the standing to file the lawsuit. The other says you're not the real party and interest. Should be another party filing the lawsuit. So those are standing and real party and interest. And there's more information on our website, lawsuitdefenses.com. Um, Failure to perform, prevention and frustration, parole evidence rule. Sometimes in a contract action, you'll have a plaintiff trying to bring in extrinsic evidence, evidence of emails and phone calls and other things you, you, that you did prior to signing your contract and the defendant saying, what are you doing? We have the four corners of the contract. Just read that. It says everything you need right here. You can't rely on parole evidence rules. So that's the defense that you can raise there. Um, lots of time you see plaintiffs going for attorney fees. One defense may be attorney fees are not recoverable by a contract or a statute. Okay, Usually there has to be a contract or a statute that's authorizing attorney fees. If not, you may want to raise this defense. And it may also be something that would come up in a motion to strike. Okay, and we've got a video out on that. Attorney Steve, motion to strike. Um, other kinds of things. Oh, one thing that's important. Um, even if you look at all of our defenses on loss, at lawsuitdefenses.com, one good clause to make sure, this is Attorney Steve litigation tip, you want to make sure you put in your answer in your affirmative defenses. All additional rights would be uh, right to add, right to add additional excuse me right to add additional affirmative defenses okay there may be some that you haven't discovered at this stage of the litigation so you want to reserve your rights to add additional affirmative defenses okay again raise or waive that's a good one to keep you open for things that may happen in the future in your litigation comparative fault of third parties failure to join third parties those are popular ones um, Doe defendants being liable, uh, contribution, indemnity, other parties should be paying or contributing, those kinds of things. You may also have certain defenses that are raised by a statute, for example, the copyright laws or the trademark laws. They may have abandonment as a defense. They may have fair use as a defense. So there's lots of different kinds of defenses. Check the statutes that the plaintiff is suing you for, read them closely, read the case law, see what affirmative defenses may apply. You may have a free speech defense. You may have a license. Um, these kinds of things. So that should give you a, uh, there's a whole bunch more here. So you can see I've done my homework. So there's a lot more information. If you're facing a lawsuit, go to lawsuitdefenses.com. Check it out. we got a list. You may see some things that apply that we haven't talked about here. If you need litigation counsel, check us out. You'll find our website there, lawsuitdefenses.com. We handle business, real estate, insurance, personal injury cases, and intellectual property. This has been Attorney Steve. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks a lot.